One of the most crucial parts of actually fulfilling an order online is the shipping process. You want to make sure that you're charging enough for shipping for your customer, but you're not actually going to be losing money as well in covering shipping costs. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your shipping settings in the back end of your Shopify store. So I'd say that shipping is actually probably one of the most asked questions that I get every single week. It can be confusing in how to set it up if you have different size products or rates, or should you do free shipping? So I wanted to make a complete shipping guide for 2021 of how to set up shipping for your Shopify store. So to get to the shipping settings in your Shopify backend, you're going to go to settings and then shipping there. So now that we're in the shipping and delivery section, we can see that we have a couple different delivery methods here. And we're also getting a warning because we don't have any shipping rates set up here. So customers aren't able to see shipping on our checkout. So we're going to add in some shipping rates here. But I also wanted to showcase that there are a couple other delivery methods now that Shopify has added in. So you can see here that there's also a local delivery and a local pickup. We're not going to be going over those in this video. However, you can go in and just click on this manage if you want to add delivery options or pickup options. And you can click that select your location once you've got that added in and show that yes, this offers local delivery and then choose from here either your settings of setting up based on zip code or a delivery radius and then add in the delivery price and any additional information. If we also go back and we choose local pickup, you can see here we hit manage. You can select on this and you can also customize the information of the pickup instructions as well as choose how quickly the pickup is ready to be picked up at that location. So we're not going to go in and customize any of that. We're going to focus on the shipping settings, but I did want to highlight that those are options that are available. So in the shipping area here, you can see we have a general shipping rates, which all products are going into automatically and all new products that you add would also go into this shipping rate. You can also go in and create a new profile. So let's first start out by managing the rates in our general shipping area. And then I'll also show you what the benefit of a new profile is as well. So let's click on manage rates. And you can see we have two products that are just the two test products in our store that are already added into this profile. And it says that any new products we add in are automatically going to be added to this profile as well. You can also see here our shipping from, this is our warehouse location. So this is automatically being pulled in. And if you wanted to, you could click on manage and change the location there. Now we have options of where we're actually shipping things to, as well as other zones that are not covered. So first, let's start out by adding some rates to our United States shipping zone, which is actually where we're located. So we can click on add rate. And then we have a couple options. So you can first just create your own rates or you can use carrier calculated rates. So if we choose to set up our own rates, we have our first option here is our shipping speed. So you can choose how you want to have this shown to your customers of the general shipping speed of how many business days, or you can choose to have no shipping time shown. So I'm gonna just choose standard here. And then you have the price, which currently right now is free. So let's go in and for shipping rates, we can just say that we can create this to be whatever it is that we want it to be. So let's say $10 is the price of shipping. So this would be a flat rate that you decide based on what you feel is comfortable for your products. You would need to do some research to feel comfortable knowing exactly what that number could be. And you can always come back in and change it if you find that you are charging too much or too little for shipping. You can also click on add conditions. And now we can set a condition for this price. So we can do it based on either the item weight. So you could make heavier products actually cost more to ship, or you can do it based on the order price. So this is a really cool way to do free shipping on your store. So we can do it based on order price and say the minimum order price is zero. 
and the maximum order price is $74.99. So we could say anything under $75 is $10 to ship. And we'll just hit done. So you can see here again, standard shipping, zero to $74.99, three to four business days, and the price is $10. So now if we wanted to add in free shipping, we would just click add rate again. Keep this at our own rates. I'm gonna keep that at standard. We won't add in a price here, so it's set as free and do conditions. Order price, and now we're gonna set the minimum price of $75, and I'm not gonna put in a max price. So that means anything from $75 and above is going to be free for them for shipping. And so that's a great way to add in free shipping if you've chosen to do that on your site. You do wanna make sure though that with free shipping that you're still able to cover your cost and the number makes sense for you so that you don't end up losing money. Now let's go in and do a rate based on a calculated carrier provider. So we'll hit add rate. And now we're gonna use carrier or app to calculate rates. From here, you have a couple different options from this dropdown. And you have DHL, UPS, or USPS. So you can get a discounted rate from Shopify because of using them. So let's just use USPS. And you can choose here the services that you want to provide. So we could say we just want to do priority mail. Again, these will cost different based on the company that you go with. So you wanna make sure whenever you're selecting these that you have researched your provider like USPS and you know if your product can actually be classified to be sent through things like media mail or if it's not eligible for that as well as how much the general rate is for that. It's always great to send a couple test packages to see exactly how that works out. So for this example, I am just going to keep priority mail, the only one checked. And you can also choose if you want to automatically show new shipping services to customers when they become available. So that would be clicking this option here. However, I typically leave this off and I just manage this myself. So that way I'm not being having new services added in without me really knowing it. You can also then add in a handling fee. So this could be to adjust the rate that is calculated for you. So USPS, once you enable this on your site, is going to calculate based off of your location and where the customer actually is. So instead of getting that flat rate fee of $10 like we set up, the customer would see something like $7.37 based on wherever their location is. So it is a lot more of a specific number. However, you can choose to add a certain percentage additional or a flat rate amount additional if you see on average it's costing you just a little bit more or also to cover your additional costs for packing materials like the priority mail box to send it in, or any tissue paper, things like that. So you would just come in and you would say that you wanted to add, let's say $2 flat amount to that. So it's gonna add whatever this priority mail amount is to actually ship it to them, plus $2 to that to give a final shipping total. And we'll just hit done. And now you can see here we have our rates here, and we have our carrier and app rates listed here and you can also see here the handling fee that we've got added in now this is just for the united states we could go in and add other rates as well so to do this we're going to hit this create shipping zone and you have a lot of different options you'll see all these different countries here you can search for the countries and the regions you can also just choose rest of world so we could say anything for the rest of the world and we can name this as well and hit done. And we're gonna go through the same process of adding in the rates. So this is your international shipping cost. This is where it can get a lot more expensive. So you wanna make sure that you're being really specific about where you send it to. And actually, whenever you're first getting started, you may not want to offer international shipping, or you may just want to offer it to surrounding countries to you. So you can just hit add rate and go through the same process as before. So we could set up our own rate, then choosing from the drop down of the shipping speed. So we could say standard international, choose our price, add any conditions that we want as well. 
And so let's just say for international shipping, we have a flat fee of $20. Again, you'll definitely want to test this out. International shipping is where you can have a lot of different costs added in. So you wanna make sure that you are testing that out first. If you don't wanna do international shipping for the entire world, you can limit it by country. So if we just come in here and delete this, I can then create a shipping zone by just clicking on this here for just countries around us. So we could just come in and say Canada. If you wanted to, you can actually click on this arrow here as well and choose which province you wanted to do in Canada. So you could limit it there. However, we'll keep all of that and I'm just going to name this and hit done. And now I could add in the rates just for Canada. So that way you are kind of testing out international shipping without having to do all of the shipping for international where you're shipping completely across the world and it may cost you a lot of money. So again, you can go through and click add rates to add that in there, but let's just go ahead and hit save. Now, if we go back up here to the top, we can see that we have our two products for our store added into this profile, but you can actually go in and create multiple profiles. So if we click this back arrow here, we can see back in this main shipping and delivery section, we have rates for the US. We still have our one rate for Canada that we would need to set up, but that this is our general shipping rates for all products. We can now go to this custom shipping rates area and see this create new profile. And let's click on that. So you can see here of, you can create a profile of specific products that you want to include and you go through the same process. So their example here is, fragile products. So you could name this as it says here, the customer won't see it, or you could do, you know, separate out your products by heavier products or more fragile products that have very specific ways that they have to be shipped. Or even things like if you had some products that were posters and were being shipped in tubes versus other products that were being shipped in bubble mailers. This is a great way to separate out those products just so you can add in different shipping profiles. Once you have got that separated out, you just need to add in your products. So you click on the add products there. You can see all of our products are automatically added into our general shipping area. But if you didn't have a product added in from there, you could just click in here and add them in to this shipping zone. And then you'll go through the exact same process that we did before of setting up your shipping zones. We just hit the create shipping zone and add in, let's say United States. And you could click in from here and go throughout the process just like we did before in the previous example. This is a great way though to add and separate out your products a little bit more, especially if you have a wide variety of products that you are sending out and they're just really different based on their sizing or their weights. So I hope you found this video helpful and that I've cleared up some of your questions about shipping. If you have any other questions or issues that you're running into, make sure to comment below and let us know. Also, we've got some great tips and strategies for how to grow your Shopify store for 2021. So make sure to check out those growth strategy videos over here. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.